Hey, what's up guys? George from Retro GT. We're gonna do a quick video here. We're gonna actually do the pinch seam mod. It's gonna be, I'm gonna try to make it quick for you guys. Straightforward, easy, and maybe a little fun. Uh, we're gonna be getting down in here. We are gonna add the wheels and tires and we do have a one inch spacer. Because of that, we do have to do the, the pinch seam mod. So I'm gonna get down here, show you what's how to do it, what to do, and uh, maybe a little tips that'll help you guys out. So let me get everything set up and I'll get back to you. All right guys, once you have the tire off in here, you want to remove your inner wheel well. All this plastic is gonna come out. So right here, we have a 10 millimeter that comes out. Another one right there, shifting over to the left. There's a Phillips screw here, another Phillips. And you come around to this side, another 10 millimeter. Got another 10 millimeter here. Got a Phillips right there. And down in here, we have, let's see if I can get it. We have a seven millimeter right there. That needs to all come out in order for us to get the inner wheel wheel out. So let's do that and show you after. I forgot one thing guys, mine's broken, but I figured I should mention it for you guys. There is a pop tab in there you have to remove. My other side has it, this one broke, but important to know so you don't rip yours too. Like this guy rips. All right, so now that we have everything exposed, you can see everything, we know what we gotta do. This seam right here, and one thing to mention, not all Renegades have this, notice it. Mine, the 2017 Latitude, has this metal plate on here. We're gonna have to remove that to get to the seam because it actually rubs right against here. So in order to remove this plate, we need a 15 millimeter. Just go ahead and just loosen it all up. All right guys, so this plate isn't on all Renegades like I said before. I know the 15s don't have it, I'm not sure exactly the 16 and up has it, but we're going to remove it and keep it off so that way we have the seam exposed and we can get to it and get the job done. Alright, down here are some tools we're going to need to do this job. This is a cutoff wheel, over here is a BFH. We need a hammer, <laughs> Mjolnir specifically Mjolnir. would be perfect. Thor, hammer. Maybe you can call up your buddy Thor, you know, he can give you a good smacking. We are gonna cut right here. As we go further up the seam, we're not worried about the tire really hitting. It's basically right here that it's cut, uh, hitting on. So we're gonna cut here and then fold it over. Jesus, man, you been drinking? A lot this pinch seam is part of the structural integrity of this vehicle. If you just cut this whole thing off, you're gonna make this very weak. And so an impact here is not gonna have the same effect. So we are gonna grind um, inserts. And as we go, we're gonna try to smack them over. And that's what the seam, pinch seam mod is. Remember when you're grinding, use protection. Don't use eye, let the sparks go in your face. It's good for you, it's yeah, fun. Yeah, don't, don't use eye protection. What, eye are, what are we talking about? They need to see you too, so. I mean, that's why we have eye doctors, right? Yeah. Well, we cut out some grooves or some notches in here and uh, we just smacked it over, yeah. Simple as that. All right, I think we're finished with the cutting and bending. As you can see, uh, we did quite a bit. We did a little extra just in case. As you can see, there's quite a bit of bare metal now. We definitely want to touch that up. We are going to be using um, some gloss, what is it, paint and primer. This is honestly, I got stuff at Walmart. If you watched my video on the tow hook, uh, I use the same spray can. Yeah, we're just going to touch that up with the paint. Uh, just enough to get that metal cleared up. And then we're going to put the splash shield back on and move to the other side. Depending on the kind of setup you have, wheels and tires, you may also have to trim some of the plastic on either end side. I don't think what we'll to do on the driver's side, the passenger side, we definitely might have to, right over there. All right, finally done on this side. I don't know what took Jake so long, this is pretty easy. Uh, anyways, um, painted everything up, got a little crazy with it, but it's okay, the thicker the better, you know what I'm saying? The last step we'll do is put the wheel well back in and actually use a heat gun to warm it up to kind of warp it to fit this new shape now. Otherwise, the tire is gonna be rubbing on the plastic. You could always just cut the plastic, but if we can, if we can warm it up and warp it to the side we want it, then we'll do that first.
This is the part of the job that takes the most patience. You gotta wait for the plastic to warm up. Alrighty, after applying the heat gun to the plastic trim here a little bit, I was able to warp it to sit it back. It should no longer hit any sort of plastic when we put the tire on. Last step, do the same thing on the other side and we should be golden. And there we go. Little sneak peek of the wheels and tires I am putting on this car. Look forward, I think a week from when this video is posted, I'll be putting up the video on the all four wheels and uh, all that information will be on there. But for now, this is where I'm gonna end the video for the pinch seam mod. It turned out really sweet. Melting the plastic was a great idea and uh, it looks pretty good. I don't think we're gonna have any problems. Now we're gonna go test drive, make sure everything's good. But as far as this goes, I think we're done. All right guys, that's all for that video. Thank you for watching. If you guys are interested on a spacer video, Jake made a sweet one on it. I'll link it right over here. Uh, another video that you guys might be interested in is uh, dash speakers. I did that some time ago. If you're more into the electronical side, I can link that right up here. So there's some videos for you guys to watch. Look forward to the wheels and tires coming up the following week. And this is George from Energy GT signing out.